sandwiched between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Dallas Cowboys. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. On play action, it's Brady. They'll swing this out to Fournette. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. That's a pickup of 11 and a first down on their first offensive play. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backside of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just stuck out there. And they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those. And oh, right away, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Cowboys. And he is going to bring this back inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. Prescott now after the fumble recovery. Eluding the pressure right. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. Prescott, pass over the middle, tipped, but he still brings it in. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Well, sure looked pretty coming off of his hand, but sometimes you might have to take a little bit off of it. That one looked a little too hot to handle. Yeah, but off the tip, hey, they still got the catch, right? It's amazing, isn't it? Even when it goes wrong, it, it turns out right. right. <laughs> Third and short yardage, Prescott. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Ferguson. And the Cowboys are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. Now Elliott. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. When we talk about being on schedule, I think they're on schedule after that run, getting it right down there on the doorstep. Maybe even a little bit ahead because now the defense can't dictate with pressure. They're guessing about where you're going to go. I might come right back at them with the same play, the same set, and see if they can stop them. And he'll get it. Touchdown, Cowboys! Ezekiel Elliott punching it in from a yard away. And the Cowboys take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. So the toss play effective, even down here near the goal line. Yeah, and you're hoping the defense can miss too many men to stop the run in the middle of the field and that your blockers can gain it a little bit of an advantage. And when they do, foot race to the pylon. And this time, he had the speed to win that race. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. 
Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. They had the fumble on the last drive, wound up leading to the opening touchdown. Now they'll try again here, first and ten. Working from the gun, it's Brady. It's caught by Mike Evans. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. Evans' 1,000-yard streak to start his career remains intact and is now at eight years strong. And in his eighth season, came a career-high 14 touchdown catches as well. Another similar season, and Mike Evans will cross the 10,000-yard milestone this year. Easy first down pickup for the superstar wideout. Right back to Chris Godwin. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That's good for a Buccaneer first to pick up of 12 yards. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. They juked him, and they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 38. They'll run it again with Fournette. Down at the 35, it'll be second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. On play action, now Brady. And Rudolph has it left side. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. I'm wondering if the same thing went through your mind as mine. When I see a big man like that make a catch, all I keep thinking to myself is, big man with football. <laughs> Look out, everyone. He may not juke you a whole lot, right? He may not run past you because of his size. You talk about a guy weighing in the 270 range. But boy, once he gets his mitts on the ball, he's going to be tough to bring down. Open man is Godwin. It's complete. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Brady so good on third and short. He's so precise. He's so accurate. Understands exactly what he needs for a first down. You almost think he can go ahead and move the chains before he even takes a snap, don't you? Fournette, a first down carry. Gets past one man. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. They're going to go with a tight end here on the running play. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. A lot can go wrong when you call a play like this down in the red zone, but that's where you appreciate this from your head coach. He's not afraid to trust his guys to do the right thing, and as a player, that means an awful lot. From the two now, second and goal. Fournette is not going anywhere. He'll be hit and dropped for no gain at the two-yard line. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Suckup's kick is good. 
So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. The Bucks ready for the kickoff. And here we go. It's in the air. From the 10. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Out of the gun, it's Elliott. And give him about five as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. A lot of hype, of course, going into this one with the Cowboys and the Bucks. They met last year in the season opener. Remember, that was the night they raised the banner in Tampa. It was also Dak Prescott's comeback game. And the Bucs wound up winning 31-29 on a late Ryan Suckup field goal. Really good game that was. But these two teams were also the two best offenses in the NFL last year. The Cowboys gaining 18 more yards over the course of the season than the number two Bucks. Seven yards there and a first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? A first down carry by Elliott. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 14 yards, good for a Cowboy first down. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. He'll get this out wide here to Elliott. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. But he's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Play action now, Prescott. Toward the sideline, he will have the first down. Good catch, he was able to keep the feet inbounds. It's a gain of eight, and it'll wind up moving the chains. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Mucked that down for a win in the defense's column. After one, 7-3 the score on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they're looking at a second down and nine to go. They'll try and run the option left side. Oh, Prescott stripped, and it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And he returns it up just shy of the 20 to the 19-yard line.
They'll start out on the ground. It's Leonard Fournette. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. From the 22, Brady. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. Following the interception, here's Prescott. That's caught. It's James Washington. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 16 in the Dallas first down. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. Meanwhile, Dax throw there, caught by Gallup. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. One of the things you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. To throw again on second down, Prescott. And this will be incomplete. He was trying to get it to Ezekiel Elliott, and it's third and short. Well, that's a defensive coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. And again, it's Prescott. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. Credit the sack to Vita Vea. Oh, you know that did not feel good. Vita Vea with the sack there. And we know he's a big-time presence on the defensive line, especially against the run. But he'll surprise you with his quickness and his upfield agility in order to get to the quarterback. If you're blocking him, it's going to be a long afternoon or evening, a tough back position. So they get the turnover in plus territory. The drive stalls out, but still able to get three out of that. Yeah, we were able to see an offense and a defense kind of mix and match with each other, didn't we? Both of them trying to make sure that they have the upper hand and the advantage. Offense trying to get to the end zone. Defense, of course, trying to hold them to a field goal attempt. And it wasn't a guaranteed lock three from where they started. So, you know, the offense has to be happy to come away with those three points. team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And they'll be backed up to start this drive as he's taken down right around the 15. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones. Not having looking for his tight end Rudolph, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Lewis, and his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. Up the middle, here's Elliott, and they've got it inside the 10 at the eight. 46 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and turn his legs for a really nice pickup. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And he will force his way forward for a yard or two, but I have a good feeling this will be coming back. Yeah, so they get that one, Charles, on the right tackle. Yeah, oftentimes in that spot, you're trying to work against a defender, trying to set the edge in the running game, and you're trying to drive around and get your body twisted so that he can't get there. Sometimes your hands get too involved. 
A terrible spot for a holding call as he'll try again, but now from further back on first and goal. Here's Prescott. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. Out routes are always timing routes. And if the timing's off just a little bit, it can really throw off a play. It looked like he led him a little too much there. Yeah, there was a fraction of a second because he caught it, just couldn't stay in bounds. On second down, Elliott. It'll be a gain of four, but it'll bring us now to a third and goal. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott escaping the pressure right. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Pretty solid gain of seven yards that time as he scrambled, but now they face a fourth down. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they will stretch their lead to 10 now at 13 3. Well, they already had the early lead, and they get the interception, Charles, and now they add three more with the field goal. Yeah, they're in control of how this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're expanding on it, getting plays on both sides of the ball. A winning recipe if they can keep this up. Too deep. Here comes a return. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. So out come the Bucks now. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back, but make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. That one goes for 24 yards. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, Nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Brady now on first down. Throw right side. Take it in by Godwin. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Throwing again on second down. Brady delivering a pass here to Evans on the out route. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Inside handoff down to Fournette. And he'll be brought down just outside of the 30. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. And 
They get six on the pickup there as the drive continues. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. To throw is Brady. And he's going to have the hook up to Gage. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. Well, that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks that you saw the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation. Give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. Fournette again. And good work there defensively. He's able to keep him out of the end zone. It's a loss of seven. And now it's third down. On goal-to-goal -goal runs, when you create lost yardage plays, the only way that happens is either called pressure or what I like to call straight-ahead pursuit. A great read, and they get to the backfield and make the play. And that was a big chunk of yardage lost. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. As defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time, that throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, unsuccessfully. Suckup's kick is good. And they will cut the lead back down to a touchdown now at 13 to 6. So the three points there in CD, that helps them inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. This game back within a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. This one taken just inside the 10. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Looking to throw again on second down. Prescott, they'll set up the screen to Elliott. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Seven yards there and a first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Draw play, Elliott. And this is going to be a Cowboys first down as good running gets him to about the 44. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime.
Prescott on first down. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And this is incomplete. Oh, he had six points right in his hands, but could not hang on. The offense schemed going five wide, trying to create a chance for the big shot, and they took it. If he comes down with that one, that's a huge offensive swing. But credit the defense with a nice play, knocking that one away. Throwing again, Prescott on second and 10. He rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Carlton Davis picks it, and the Buccaneers are going to take possession here at their own 47-yard line. Meanwhile, Brady's throw taken in by Evans here. Now the Bucs going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. On second down, here's Fournette. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. And on third down, the Cowboys bring in an extra defensive back. Brady now to throw. This is caught by Evans. And he's going to have a first down here as they're also into field goal range at the 28. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession, both north of 20 yards. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Suckup's kick is good, and that'll bring him back within four. So that one is his third of the game. Now, if you're wondering, that's only halfway to his career high, as he once had six oh, field goals. Oh, Brandon, but what, six? Let's hope we don't get that again, please. <laughs> can, can we see a few touchdowns here and there? That'd be nice. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. Pulls it in at the 13. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Cowboy offense set to go to begin this third quarter. And, Charles, they've got the lead. I would imagine the overall halftime tone was a positive one, but what do you think the talking points were in the locker room? Well, if there were three talking points at the half, partner, all of them were about turnovers because they were pretty loose with the ball. Otherwise, this lead could be even bigger. Now, I don't think that they overly harped on it, but I think they told him, guys, if you want to keep calling those plays that are exciting, you've got to take care of the ball. Otherwise, we may have to dial things back a little bit. 74 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. First down run with Elliott going to go for about four. Second and six coming up. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. 
The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They go to Elliott again. And only a couple there as he'll take this up to the 47. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Prescott to throw it. And he'll go underneath here to Elliott. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. So just three yards on the completion there. And that'll bring up fourth down. Here's Brian Anger now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. Yeah, this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. Here comes the Buccaneers offense. They get their first reps of the second half. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, OK, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for this second half. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking. But the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Fakes the give to Fournette. Now Brady. And this one caught by Cameron Brady. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Brady to his tight end, Braid for the Tampa Bay first. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Here's Bernard. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Micah Parsons, the linebacker, in on the tackle. I would think as a play call, you want to look for some quick hitters to your tight end. Any type of a route to replace where that linebacker was. Because when you saw the speed with which he reacted and stuffed that play, maybe use that speed against him in the future. On second down, here's Brady. And complete right side, the tight end Rudolph. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop finding the hole in the defense and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. Brady to throw on third and one. Airing this one out for Evans. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. So much for the run on third and one. Instead, it's a big chunk in the pass game. First down. They're still looking for their first touchdown of the game. And for a second, I thought they had it right there. But looking on the sideline, it's finally good to see nods of approval. It's a welcome sign of life that this offense needed. Up the gun, Fournette. And able to surge forward for about five yards down to the 10. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. Ball sits on the 10, second and five. They'll run it here with Bernard. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. That's now consecutive five-yard carries to pick up the first down. I know flashy plays, flashy plays, as people like to call them. That attracts a lot of attention. But let's face it, when you're efficient, that can control a ball game. And I love the game plan they've got going right now. Back-to-back five-yard gains. Didn't force the ball downfield, picked it up on the ground. Yeah, offensive line, they're getting it done. Godwin's got it. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Buccaneers have taken the lead here in this third quarter. 
So a very strong first drive in the second half, Charles, as they've turned that halftime deficit into a third quarter lead. And they were pretty purposeful there, weren't they? Measured in their approach. But boy, they executed awfully well moving the ball down the field. Extra point put through by Suckup, and that gives them a three-point lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. On the return, Tony Pollard from his end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Dallas offense set for this next drive. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions last time out. They had to punt it away, this time hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. They'll start the drive with Elliott. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Again, it's Elliott. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. So right now what I'm seeing... I'm seeing an offense just firing off the ball a lot quicker than they can react. And not only that, they're sustaining the blocks, too. I'm seeing guys get six, seven yards downfield before there's even a hint of contact. Prescott looks to throw on first. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. Levante David making his presence felt in the backfield. I think a lot of time when we see a sack, you say, well, you blame it on the offensive line, the quarterback, but here, maybe you just tip your hat to the defender. What a play. Yeah, and I think sometimes they just get a sense of the play before the ball's even snapped. Kind of like a sprinter anticipating the gun in a race. They're off, and guess what? The quarterback's down. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the box 41-yard line. 23 yards the pick up there. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. First down, Prescott. A dump off to Elliott. And he's taken down inside the 30. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. Now back to the ground with Elliott. And he's swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game, second and ten. Now Prescott. Tosses the out route here to Gallup. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Five yards, now it's third and five. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together and he catches it and goes over the sideline. Prescott from the gun on third. And he'll find Washington. That's complete. 
And he will have a Cowboys first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yes. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL, and he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time, so make sure you get in shape. 109 yards rushing now for Zeke, and he's got a first down. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. Now Elliott, nothing doing there. They're going to wind up holding him at the two. No gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. Second and goal and they will try again from the two yard line. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Ezekiel Elliott with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cowboys answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. Extra point attempt to come here. And that will make this a four point game. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And we've got a penalty marker down here as he's able to get this only to the 20-yard line. So already not the best to kick returns there, but that penalty, that adds insult to injury and backs him up even closer to the goal line. Yeah, not ideal field position to begin a drive, is it? Because the extra pressure now goes on the offense. They've got to get some early yards and get away from the shadow of their own goal post. What every offense wants to do in this situation, get two first downs to help out with field position at the least. They fake the handoff. Now Brady. And Rudolph has it, the tight end. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. A few better down a score in the fourth quarter than Tom Brady. This is first and ten. They'll look to throw here. And a catch right side by Evans. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, 
why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. A shotgun give to Fournette. And this is going to be a Bucks first down as he gets this up past the 30 to the 32. Fournette really solidified his place with the Bucks last season. He ran for over 800 yards and eight touchdowns and caught an impressive 69 passes. Tampa made sure he stuck around, too, giving him a new three-year contract. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Here's Brady to throw. He finds his target. It's Evans. That'll be a pickup of four as they work with his four-point fourth-quarter lead. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. To throw again on second down, Brady. Look at Mike Evans' way again, and he's got another one. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. These two have hooked up nine times now this afternoon as they pick up the first. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. Brady now on first down. This one complete to Giovanni Bernard. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. Brady's throw there complete. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. And he hauls it in for the Buccaneer touchdown. Russell Gage. 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Buccaneers go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. But plenty of scoring here of late, and our lead changes hands now in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they just gave up a touchdown the other end, so they knew that with time getting short, they had to put something together here, and they were able to do so and retake the lead right back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. ready for the kickoff and here we go it's in the air Pollard to return from the end zone now a crease here as he's past the 30 and all in all a pretty solid return nearly got it to the 35 they'll mark him down officially at the 34 and now Dallas gets set to take the field we certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. A 20th carry here for Elliott, and he'll get this up to about the 40. 117 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. Well, I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? On second down, Elliott once more, and he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. 
Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. A first down throw for Prescott. He's going to find Gallup here complete. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. To throw is Prescott. And he finds his target. It's Schultz. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. Throw left side complete. That's Ferguson. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Play action now. Prescott. And incomplete on the deep ball. He had no options downfield there and just chucked it out of bounds. There was no one open. He was in the pocket. What was the intentional grounding call? Oh, you wanted the flag. Of course I did. I'm a defensive guy. You know that. Where was the flag? The officials point out that someone was in the area. He got away with one. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 16 in the Dallas first down. Well, sometimes, Brandon, there's just not a secret to how things get done. He's been running well all game long, and they continue to rely on him in this key situation. They told us they were going to rely on him. They have. He comes through there, a big third down conversion. From the red zone now, Prescott. And his throw here is incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Throwing, Prescott. He finds his man complete. It's Schultz. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point-of-attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. Two yards on the pickup there. It's fourth down. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And this one is right through. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. Well, you talk about clutch. That one was right down Broadway, and this game's all even here in the fourth. They didn't have any doubt, did he? Good snap, good hold, dead center. Almost like a big-time golfer in a major, firing at a pin from the fairway, trying to win the tournament going down the stretch. teams all even again as we continue in this wild fourth quarter fielded just outside the goal line 
And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Now the Buccaneers offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And the football changing hands here and as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive last time out. They found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Second and a couple. Brady is going to have the hook up to Gage. But Brady to Gage for a Tampa first. That gets him the first down, but they've still got to move quickly here. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Now Brady. He's going to drop this one down to Bernard. It'll be a gain of five, and that will bring up second down. Short gain, short gain, last two plays. Who do you think's excited about that? Absolutely, this defense. They're saying go right ahead with those. Clock running. The box try to go quickly and get set. Brady to throw. Over the middle, he finds Godwin complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 43. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. Okay, there's three timeouts left, right? Think you got to use one here, don't no you? No doubt about it. I'd use one right here. First down now, but that clock rolling. To throw is Brady. Getting it out wide here to Bernard. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here, and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. So a big penalty there on the face mask leads to first and ten. Here's a give to Fournette. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They'll run it again with Fournette. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. So a good run by Fournette. Now another first and ten. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. The Bucs going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. A handoff to Fournette. And here he'll get it down to the seven. So they get half of what they needed. It'll be third and six upcoming. Now, what's the thinking here? Because a touchdown would be nice, but you've ensured yourself a chance at three in the lead. So how worried are you about the six? You're not very worried about it if you're confident in your kicker. And if you got a kicker who can put it through the post, you feel really good about trying to bleed that clock down. In an ideal scenario, your kicker puts it through the post as the clock hits zeros. On 
time now is Ryan Suckup for the field goal try. He's hit three times already, and this for the win. And the 13-year man puts it through, and it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. And I tell you, when it comes to needing a field goal in closing seconds, pressure situation, there's something to be said for having a veteran kicker trot out there. Agreed. It's so nice to have someone you can rely on, someone who you know has done it before. And this guy's as cool as they come, isn't he? Let's go! The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This one taken just inside the 10. Well, this one part of was fun down to the very end. They got the points late, right before the whistle. Then the ensuing kickoff. They were hoping for magic on the other side, but couldn't get that spark. Fun if you won. <laughs> and fun for us, because we got to watch it and call it. That magic that you were talking about didn't occur at the end, but what a game all the way through.